Hi, my name is Brian Atchley. I'm a senior at Florida State University. My major is information technology. Today I'm going to talk to you about creating a Facebook account and how to add friends as well as accept friend requests. See you there. Hello and welcome to the Facebook tutorial. Um, right now I've already put the browser to facebook.com and we are here ready to rock and roll. Um, I've already gone ahead and gone to the sign up area right here. I filled in my name along with my email address, password, uh, sex, and birthday. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that you use a valid email address that you have access to because that's how Facebook will confirm uh, your account as well as notify you of any friend requests or any, anything else that they deem is uh, important to you. Go ahead and fill that out and we're going to click the sign up button. Right here there's going to be a security check, image verification, just to make sure that no bots are trying to uh, create accounts. Go ahead and put the information in, click sign up. Next thing you're going to do here is go to your email account and confirm the email address. Uh, I happen to have used Gmail. This is what the email is going to look like. Facebook registration confirmation. You're going to go ahead in there and then click this link right here that will automatically uh, confirm your account. After you've clicked that link, it's going to bring you up to this screen right here. Uh, it'll give you the option to look up friends based on your uh, Gmail or whatever uh, email account client you use uh, based on your contacts. Uh, since I have no contacts and I don't really feel like giving Facebook my password to get in there right now, I'm going to go ahead and skip this step. <clears throat> and right here is uh, probably the more important part if you're looking for friends is to, or make it easier for them to find you is to put in your high school, college, university, or company. Very easy to way to uh, connect with people. I would suggest filling that out. However, I'm going to go ahead and skip this. Next up is going to be the same sort of idea as the college and or school uh, would be to put in your city or town. It makes it easy to network with people that are from your area. I'm going to go ahead and skip this for now as well. Next step here is gives you the option again to find friends uh, like earlier or to actually type in somebody's name and do it. For right now we're going to edit our profile first before we start looking for friends. I'm going to go ahead and click on view and edit profile right here. And at this point in time you can fill out your basic information. Um, you can click these little arrows to drop down more information, put in your interests, favorite TV shows, etc. Fill out all that information. Once that's done we're going to go ahead and move up to the top left hand corner and change our picture right here. Just click on the, the picture. And then at this point in time, there are no photos in our album. You would be able to choose uh, from various photos that you have uploaded to have as your profile picture. And it's, the profile picture is probably one of the funniest, if not the most enjoyable uh, part of Facebook. It gives a chance to really express the type of person you are. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go in here. We don't have any pictures on this computer, but uh, what you would do is just go ahead and browse this image, uh, find your picture on your computer, um, accept the terms, upload your picture, and then it'll be there ready to go. Um, once that is completed, uh, one thing, the main thing to keep in mind is at any point in time, this blue bar at the top will always be there. Um, just make sure that you use that as your navigation toolbar. Right now we're going to go to friends. Your screen may look different at this point in time, but like I said, this is always going to be there. I'm going to click on friends. I'm going to go ahead and search for a friend. We can search for another John Smith if we want. Go ahead and click the little magnifying glass. That will bring us to a list of various people. As you can see right here, there are uh, multiple John Smiths. Uh, mo usually somebody will have their picture up there and just in case you know who they are otherwise you can look at their location might give you a better idea of if this is the correct person you're looking for uh, we're going to choose John Smith from San Francisco California you're going to go ahead and click on add as friend at this point in time you can add a message to John um, in case you don't know uh, or in case you want to make sure he knows who you who you are um, I'm going to click add friend and again there's going to be an image verification much like there was before when you were signing up uh, initially for the account going to click on add friend and at that point in time it will then um, go through the system and send a friend request to John. As you can see now uh, it is now grayed out friend requested. We can go ahead and click on a few more friends if we want to. If you need to add or look, search for more people by a different name you can go ahead right up in this search box type in whatever you want find those people. Uh, you can search through 
networks, uh, Facebook will automatically narrow the search down. Um, if you have a certain network, such as your college or school or work, it'll find the, it'll put those people up at the top first to make sure you got the best possible match. Uh, the next step will be to accept a friend request. We can go ahead and go to the home screen. If you do have a pending friend request from uh, one of your, your buddies, uh, it will show up on this main home page right here at the top. If you have any sort of uh, invitations or events or anything like that, I'm going to go ahead and click on the, the friend request right here. <coughs> As you can see right now, I have a few friends that we can confirm or ignore. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and confirm uh, this, this guy right here. And at that point in time, we're friends. I can look at his profile by clicking on it. Very easy. Last step I'm going to show you is ha simply how to log in, log out of your account. Again, at, up at this task bar, there'll always be uh, these same um, options. One of them is logging out. Go ahead and click log out. And then, as far as logging in, all you got to do is rather than going to the sign up area like we did at the very beginning, you're going to go to the top right here. You're going to put in your email address and your password, click log in, and you'll be right back at that main home page. I uh, hope you enjoyed the Facebook tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, my contact information will follow uh, shortly.